There are three types of wax that I want you to be aware of. So there's soy wax, there's paraffin wax, and then there's beeswax. Soy wax is the lowest temperature of wax. Soy wax often comes in the form of massage candles or scented jar candles like this. So this is made out of 100% natural soy. This is the lowest burning candle. It burns anywhere between 113 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it is body safe if it is 100% soy, which means it's going to be a great one to start off with, especially if you're exploring sensual wax play. So wax play that involves a little bit more sensuality, a little bit less pain. This also is a great one to warm up with if you're trying to incorporate pain into your wax play at some point, but you need to warm the body up first. The next one we're going to talk about is paraffin wax. So a lot of candles are actually made of soy paraffin blends or paraffin wax alone. This often takes the form of um, BDSM or wax play candles that are sold online. Any type of candle that is made out of paraffin is going to be a little bit hotter on the skin than soy and it's going to harden. When you get 100% soy candles, they're reaction to the skin they're going to harden but then you're going to be able to rub them into the skin and almost massage them in like moisturizer or oil that's not the case with paraffin candles these are probably going to peel off your skin or have to be scraped off with a knife um, and then we have beeswax candles beeswax is for experienced wax players and it's for sadists and masochistic play it is not really going to be used for sensual play because it burns typically burns so hot beeswax candles burn anywhere between 140 and 180 degrees fahrenheit and can burn to the point where first degree burns can happen on the skin keep in mind one first degree burns can occur on the skin at 100 degrees fahrenheit for a prolonged period of time about an hour First degree burns can occur on the skin at 175 degrees for a short period of time, within seconds. I want to talk about the difference between a votif candle and a taper candle. So a votif candle, pretty basic, it's bigger in this area, so you're going to be able to drop more wax with it at one time. With a candle like this, you could probably drop anywhere between 5 to 20 drops at one time. With candles like these, you're probably only going to get one to five drops at a time, even if you let the whole top burn and melt for dripping. So with votif candles, it's going to be a larger quantity. With taper candles, you're going to be a, a shorter quantity, a, a smaller quantity of wax at one time.